Hey everyone, Tomias here and welcome to another Wuthering Waves video. So we've got some exclusive information because that's right, we've got the translated kit, the translated official skill kit for Jing Shi from the CN Weather Waves account. Of course, the English Twitter has posted the Ages of Harvest, the signature weapon, which we'll go over, but they haven't released the entire kit or any of the uh, Jing Shi uh, skills description. But we have it. We have them all on the CN site, and that's what we're going to do in this video is to go over all of them and show you guys how amazing she is. She definitely unlocks some cool gameplay and new mechanics that I think everyone will be able to appreciate. And then she looks so damn good in that promotional video. Now, let's start with the Ages of Harvest because that's been translated already. That's the uh, exclusive or the signature weapon for Jing Shi. It's a broad blade, so GN can use this as well. And looking at the base stat and the weapon skill, I even check the CN version, okay? Because they have this as well, just to make sure that there is no translation error. But yes, it matches. So at level 90, uh, one copy, you'll get 580 7 attack with 24.3% crit rate. Really good stats. And in Wuthering Waves, the signature weapon is always about 20%-ish, around that, better than the next 5-star choice, which is insane, to be honest. And in terms of the weapon skill, you will get a 12% attribute damage bonus. And again, I've checked the CN1. It's basically all attribute damage bonus. So very similar to Yingling's weapon, okay? So this is all attribute, as it says in the CN part. So 12% attribute damage bonus across everything, and casting intro skill gives the um, equipper <laughs> ageless marking which grants 24% resonance skill damage bonus for 12 seconds and then when you cast your resonance skill you gain a 24% resonance skill damage for 12 seconds so this again drawing the parallel to Yingling which is 24 plus 24% attack this is resonance skill damage um, which activates on intro skill so you might see this as a bottleneck in terms of getting the full 48% resonance skill damage, but worry not because, first of all, you'll see in her kit, her intro is going to be activated a lot, and then the second part is that um, the resonance skill damage activating this on a 12 second duration, which means this 24% is pretty much going to be up 100% of the time. So, really interesting uh, broad blade or exclusive weapon, but let's take a look at how she works as a character. Now, Jing Shi is going to be a uh, spectral typing broad blade user, and these are the mats. And looking at the skill kit, this is a four hit basic attack combo, as you can see. And she also has a heavy attack where she can summon the dragon and then also lands an aerial combo down. So you saw a four hit, and this summoning the dragon part is the heavy attack where you can trigger by just holding. The core component of her skill, though, is basically entering an enhanced state and using mid-air combos. So you can see here that, okay? Um, this is a second enhanced state, but basically after four basic attacks, you use your resonance skill and you enter an enhanced state. When not using the basic attack, the resonance skill is just like this, as you can see here, okay? Oh, so this is the enhanced state, sorry. When not using the basic attack combo, this is the basic one. You can see you don't get this mid-air ending whereas here after you use your four basic attack your resonance skill changes and your mid-air stepping into thin air and uh, we can see the comparison here no mid-air and then here mid-air okay you can see you're actually mid-air because you step down after that so after four basic attacks your resonance skills change and you get this buff state with the dragon horn on your head and that is the mid-air status enhanced state the full name i don't know how to translate it i don't even know how the english localization team will do it so let's just not go there now in terms of the resonance liberation you can see here it's spectral damage and you can cast this mid-air again it's very important to know that because for example someone like gn unless you have the energy uh, requirement fulfilled you cannot use is uh, resonance liberation mid-air but for Jingxi you can cast this mid-air so it's regardless of um, I guess your um, your energy and speaking of energy this is the core component of her kit now this again there is going to be an official name for it so I'll just call it her light energy as they've stated right here it's 50 points okay that is the max and when G, uh, Jingxi is in your team all of your teammates will obtain this buff. And this buff essentially provides two separate effects. When you deal attribute damage or elemental damage, you will be able to gain one of this lightning energy or light energy, whatever. We just call it energy. Jingxi energy, okay? We'll be able to gain one energy for Jingxi. And each typing of the damage can trigger this once every three seconds. 
which makes me think if you have, for example, someone uh, like uh, Yingling in the background doing uh, electro damage without being uh, without needing to swap, does that mean that if you use a different character and then uh, let's say uh, a healer and then the healer does spectral damage and the Yingling does uh, uh, electro damage in the background, you'll be able to gain two energy every three seconds during that. But anyhow, it's essentially letting your teammates gain energy for um, uh, for Jing Shi. And the second part is where I'm a bit confused. It says when you're using co-op attack, you'll gain two energy. And again, triggering once every three seconds of the same attribute. I'm not sure exactly what this co-op attack means. Is this intro, outro, or is this when you quick swap? Does that even count as long as two characters are on the field at the same time? We might have to wait for an official explanation on this, but uh, essentially this buff that is provided to the team when Jingxi is in the team allows the teammates to gain uh, energy for Jingxi every time they do damage. And the second part is about her enhanced state. Because remember, she enters the enhanced state if you use four basic attack into a resonance skill. She'll gain the horn and then she will stay in midair after using the resonance skill like this. Okay, she'll be midair. And this enhanced state will uh, change her basic attack into an enhanced basic attack. Again, still a four hit combo. And uh, you can use the basic attack in midair. And your resonance skill is also going to change as well, and you can use this in midair. And your dodge attack, and your midair heavy attack, and your midair dodge attack can also be changed into an enhanced version of the attack. And it's very interesting because she can actually dodge midair and then uh, counter with this enhanced attack. So we need to see how this works because. Again, she's very, very heavily focused in midair, and this seems like, uh, you know, combat-wise, this is going to be a very, very cool-looking aspect. Now, this is one of the enhanced state, and she'll gain another one after. And how to enter the second one is because after she used four basic attacks, okay, during the first enhanced state, which she gains the Dragon Horns, she'll exit out of this enhanced attack and gain another buff. And during that buff, it doesn't tell you how long, but during this buff, uh, when she's in midair, her base attack will be changed into heavy attacks. That's crazy. And um, you will be spending stamina to attack the enemy and doing spectral damage. And your resonance uh, skill will now change to another completely different one. Okay, and uh, this attack will deal damage and also um, explode, I guess after a certain period is what they say so it'll, you'll do damage with the resonance skill and then the resonance skill will pop and then do explosion damage and uh, it also oh this is okay it will consume your uh, energy the, remember the light energy we talked about and for every single energy spent your resonance skill uh, will be buffed okay the initial damage as well as the explosion damage will be buffed which is yeah, which is crazy. And again, all of these can be used mid-air. So you'll be in the air a lot while you're doing your combo. And then after you use your resonance, enhanced resonance skill, um, the the buffed version, okay, not the post four basic attack, but the super buffed version, then you will get instant forte gauge entry. Every 25 seconds, you can trigger this once. And when you swap to a different character, the character will use an intro skill and then Jingxi will use an outro skill but at the same time remove all of Jingxi's forte buffs <laughs> this part is a bit confusing okay uh with the wording but what I'm assuming they're trying to say is essentially once you use the uh, enhanced resonance skill okay you will basically be able to have a free swap that is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> so every 25 seconds, regardless of the forte gauge, you get a free swap where Jingxi will trigger the outro and the uh, character coming in will have the intro 100% no matter what every 25 seconds. Wow. I know a lot of people have been saying that she is going to be a main DPS, but this actually makes her very viable even as a sub or burst DPS because she gains energy right? She gains energy by just teammates attacking. So she can be in the back when she's her teammates attacking and she's gaining energy. And then 
every 25 seconds she just needs to come out do her combo and that is a free instantaneous intro for any character and of course not counting the fact that she herself can gain resonance uh can gain forte gauge as well so every 25 seconds you basically get two intros off that is really really good and of course this is the intro attack uh it's basically an attack there's no additional effect but the outro is once you fill the forte uh, gauge and uh, you will outro to oh sorry yeah this is the outro um once you gain the forte gauge when you outro into the uh next character the next character can now trigger um their uh, energy filling capability remember the buff that everyone gets which is offering jenshi one energy per three seconds will now be changed to once every one second oh wow that is that's really good because it lasts for 20 seconds so during that 20 seconds you will gain at least 20 energy right for jingxi because now um the character receiving the buff will be able to trigger this uh, energy gain every one second instead of every three seconds okay so there's no uh outro damage buff but rather this just buffs the energy gain for uh for jingxi instead all right so that is the first i guess impression plus breakdown and honestly she revolves around a lot of the mid-air combination and i can see the rotation being starting off with four basic attacks using resonance skill to enter the enhanced state and then um uh, using the resonance uh enhanced basic attack and the resonance skill again to enter the super dragon state and then you will be able to outro basically yeah that's pretty cool that is indeed pretty cool anyhow let me know your thoughts and uh we'll see we'll see how good she is at release of course we'll also wait for the official translation from the global side but uh, it's yeah it's really interesting how they managed to make her mid-air if it's tied to stamina. I don't know how viable it's going to be in terms of, you know, you also have to factor in uh, your stamina for dodge and stuff like that. But we'll see. And now it's Demise here. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye now.